sit home and you sew and you pretend to do things. What's wrong with my sewing? Oh, mama, I'm just having fun on the stage in my heels. I think I like this little life. This I just added this super cute hood to my shop and my favourite part about it is that you can fit headphones underneath so perfectly. Who are you playing, sweetie? Amanda. Huh? Who are you? I'm Amanda. I'm six. Look at what my friend made. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. And I don't even feel guilty about it. like to know how to eliminate a slip stitch let me show you you pull that yarn through from the front to the back with your hook then you're going to let go of that loop and then you pull your running yarn through such that you have two loops on your hook you finish it up like a normal single crochet and you have a pretty result share if you find this helpful I'm sorry, how do we do this? How do we do this? <laughs> I've literally looked through the comments and there's no mention of a pattern. So if you know how to do this and you're not telling me you are part of the problem, lace crochet that looks like that. Tell me everything. <laughs> Their hat fam i'm gonna give you my favorite hat tip as someone who has a lot of hair these stretchy crocheted packable sun hats are great because i can tuck up all my hair on windy days and it'll stay in place i also appreciate a broad brimmed hat when i want to go into incognito mode our packable sun hats stretch to fit most sizes and can be packed or folded into any type of bag for more info check out north fairy hats a special lady wanted to surprise her boyfriend with a Cody plushie from Surf's Up, so I took on the challenge of crocheting this adorable gift. I was unable to find a pattern online, but thanks to my skill level, I was able to recreate the character from scratch. I made sure to get the little details right, and this was the final product, but wait, there's a twist coming. I picked up this adorable seashell at the beach and thought it would make the perfect necklace for Cody, so that's exactly what I did, and this is Cody with his necklace on. And lastly, I added in a free gift bag to make the gift extra special. But that's not the end I ended up doing a few more adjustments and this was the final plushie ready to be shipped and be with its new owner you bitches that crochet are fucking liars okay I've been told my whole life that crocheting is way easier than knitting because I can knit I learned how to knit when I was like 10 
in five fucking minutes at a Starbucks with my mom. This lady fucking taught me how to do it. And then I fixated on it for a long time. This shit is fucking impossible. I wanted to learn how to crochet because I'm like, oh, I can make cool shit with it. It's really hard to make cool shit with knitting needles, okay? Y'all are fucking liars. I'm going to go in the backyard and light this fucking yarn on fire and throw the crochet needle in the flames. Hey guys, I just wanted to recap the seven basic stitches that we have already covered in previous videos. Once you master these stitches, it lays the foundation for you then to be able to attempt beginner crochet patterns. First, we're going to start off with a chain stitch. In crochet terminology, that is known as a CH. Next, we have a single crochet, which is known as an SC. Then we have a half double crochet, which is known as an HDC. Then we have a double crochet, which is known as a DC. A treble crochet, which is known as a TRE. A slip stitch, which is SLST. And finally, we have a magic circle, which is known as an MC. I hope that you find all of the videos explaining each one of these stitches very easy to follow along. Let me show you how to make this super quick and easy granny square. Go ahead and grab your hook and scissors, and we're going to start off with a magic circle and we'll chain three. This is going to act as our first double crochet and then make two more double crochets. Then chain three and make another three double crochets into the magic circle. Chain three and repeat the process of three double crochets followed by chain three two more times until you have four bunches of double crochets. Then slip stitch into the chain three you made at the very beginning. And if you want to change colors, chain one and tie your yarn off here. Attach your new color with a knot and we're going to make our first corner. So chain three, then do two double crochets, chain three, and then make three more double crochets into the same stitch. Chain one and we'll make another corner here since we're at the tip of our square. So go ahead and make three double crochets into the gap, three single crochets, and then three more double crochets into that same gap. Then chain one and keep following that pattern until you get back to the first corner you made. Slip stitch into the third chain of that first chain three and tie off your color. And tie a knot to secure your new color and we'll make our first corner for this round. So again, that's chain three, two double crochets, chain three, and then three more double crochets into that same gap. Chain one and keep going, making corners whenever you reach the tip of the square. Now you can stop here or keep going to make your granny square bigger, but I like to stop here personally. Thanks for watching and let me know what you want to learn next. I'm going on holiday in a few days and I wanted a new bag to take with me, so I thought I would show you how I made it. So I made three granny squares, all the same size, and mine are 14 rows and they measure approximately 35 centimeters. These are just a regular granny square, but usually I would do a chain one on the side in between each three cluster, but I didn't on these to make it a little bit tighter. I did chain two in the corners and I used a 4.5 millimeter hook and this is cotton Aran yarn, mostly yarn and colors epic cotton yarn. So once you've got your three granny squares to the size you want them, you want to fold them in half diagonally. And this is how you will put it all together. And you're going to crochet along here and down the other side, and along here and up the other side. So I've got my first two granny squares and I've put them right side facing and I'm just going to double crochet along this first edge. So once I've done one side crochet together, then going to get my next square and I'm then going to crochet along there. You should then end up with something like this. I'm going to flip it over. So this piece will come up there and these two will come in at the sides. I haven't actually fastened off yet, so I'm just going to carry on and go up there and down there. Once you've done that, you should end up with something like this. For the strap, I joined into the top of the chain two corner space and I did two double crochets and I did 60 rows of that and I've left it open so I did that on both sides and then I double crocheted around the whole bag to finish it off and make it nice and neat. 
I did two separate straps so I could tie it in a bow and adjust the length of the strap. And here's the finished bag. Here's what I do every week to get better at crocheting. If you wanna get better at crocheting, I'm gonna take you through my weekly schedule to help me grow my crochet skills. This works at any level, so whether you're a beginner or you're a more experienced crocheter, you can follow this routine to get better every single week. Let's get into it. Monday, the beginning of the week, you're going to start on your big project. The big project is something like a garment or a blanket that'll take you multiple days to finish. So by working on the big project at the beginning of the week, you're giving yourself a head start to get things done. Tuesday, you're gonna take a break from your big project and start on a small project. Here's a list of options you can make for your small project and you can pause the screenshot. And a small project is really just anything you can make from start to finish all in one day. Getting this done right in the beginning of the week will give you that feeling of progressing. You feel more motivated to keep going throughout the week. I also like to think about who in my life has a birthday or a milestone coming up and I'll pretty much use that small project as the opportunity to make something special for them to give as a gift. Moving on to Wednesday, this is the day where you're going to learn a new stitch. There are some examples of stitches you can try, you can pause the screenshot. Wednesday is really your opportunity day to grow your crochet capabilities. There are tons of crochet stitches out there so there's really no shortage of opportunities to learn something new. Focus on making swatches of one stitch that you want to master and you'll be a pro by the end of the day. Thursday, it's time to work on your big project again. You had a nice break over the last few days, so by now you should be feeling re-energized and ready to take it on again. Friday, you're making another small project. You can either try something new off your list or make another version of your first small crochet project, just maybe in a different yarn color. Saturday is considered your flex day and this is your opportunity to choose what's most important to you to prioritize. Maybe you want to make another small project, maybe you're ready to continue on your your big project or maybe you just don't want to crochet at all. The option is totally yours. Finally on Sunday, the last day of the week, this will be your planning day. This is your time to map out what your next week will look like. So pick out what small and big projects you want to make and what stitch you want to try. You can also use this time to write down new ideas for projects and stitches. I like to keep a running list of everything I want to make and learn so when it comes time to crochet I have no shortage of ideas. And when you're done, you just start the week over again. The schedule has seriously made such a difference in my crochet projects. I found that when I stick to it, I'm not only learning new techniques, but I'm also completing way more crochet projects and growing my crochet speed. I hope you found this schedule helpful and let me know if you have any questions. First started crocheting, I got really basic stuff. You don't need anything super fancy to start out with. So I got this set of crochet hooks and they go from 3.125 millimeters to 6.5 and they're just all aluminum. The brand is Boy, B-O-Y-E, and I got them at Walmart and I think this was the first one I used the 6.5 on a little tote bag that I made which was my first project but before that I just practiced um, the basic stitches and made little swatches and just got kind of comfortable with how to crochet um, and I also got one with like the squishy base and this is just a five millimeter of the same brand but um, I did upgrade not long after to clover hooks and I've never looked back because they're so, so nice. I got this one first. It's just the 4.5 millimeter one and like the yarn just was gliding through it like butter and it just felt so much easier to crochet with. So I really love these. I got a set of them on Amazon on sale. So sometimes you can find sales on a set, but you don't really need to like go all in yet. You can just get one, see how you like it. And then for yarn, I started off with cotton yarn. I also got most of my, all of my beginning stuff at Walmart. So um, this one is their mainstay brand and it's actually quite soft for an 100% cotton yarn. So there's that. And then they also have a brand called Peaches and Cream, which is very similar slash the same to Lilies and Cream which you can find at like normal craft stores, but um, Walmart carries it as well. So these are both just 100% cotton yarn. Um, I find the peaches and cream to be like a little bit softer actually and a little nicer. I started in springtime, so like cotton yarns made more sense than buying anything that was like acrylic or synthetic. But if you're starting and it's still colder where you live, you can totally get something like that if you want to make like something warm like a cardigan or a little scarf or a little beanie but yeah 
basic stuff and then I slowly upgraded to slightly nicer things like my clover hooks. Good luck! Crochet tutorial chain 18. Make one single crochet in each of the back bumps. Two more single crochets in the last stitch. Continue with single crochets on the other side. Chain one and turn. Single crochet until you reach the marker. Three single crochets in stitch with the marker. Continue with single crochets. Chain one, turn and continue the pattern until you have 10 rows in total. Chain to and turn. Make one double crochet in each stitch until the marker. Make three double crochets in this stitch and continue with one double crochet in each stitch. Continue with the same pattern for two rows. Chain one and turn. Skip one. Five double crochets in one stitch. Skip one. Slip stitch repeat. Remove the marker and continue with shell stitches for this one row. End the row with a slip stitch and cut the yarn. Make another one, but don't cut the yarn. Two rows of double crochets. Chain to and turn. Chain one, skip one. One double crochet trepid to the end of this row. Now keep making one double crochet in each stitch for multiple rows. Chain one, skip one, double crochet trepid. Then one row double crochets. And finally one row shell stitches. Now two rows with double crochets along the sides. Make holes for the strap by skipping one stitch for each hole. I did four with double crochets in between. Finish off with a row of single crochets. Double thread. Chain for as long as you want the straps. Make one very long strap for the back. Against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, speaking fast I can roast, I can gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time You're delirious, mysterious Because you are behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel
Tschüss. A hard speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like top.